Hello guys, welcome back to Yellen App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use Canva AI Image Generator. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So the first thing that we want to do here is go to canva.com and just basically create our account. Now for this to work, we have to create our account. So go ahead and just create your account. It's a pretty easy. So at the top right, make sure that you create that. Now in this case, once you've created your account, go ahead and sign in. And from here, what we need to do is to start creating our design. So in this case, they have multiple templates that you could use here. So if you click on the top right here, click on create design. We have the video, the document, the whiteboard, Instagram reel, YouTube thumbnail, infographic, and a lot more. Now in this case, if you want to create a presentation, in this case, we want to click on this one. And from here, you could choose from different templates or teams. Now, in this case, you have this teams here. So go ahead and choose the appropriate team for you. But in this case, we'll be just using the empty space here since we'll only be creating AI images. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go to the element tab here. And from here, you should see an option that says AI image generator. Now from here, go ahead and click on the plus button here that says generate your own and the UI for it should appear. Now in this case, we have the options to enter the text that we want to be based on on our image. Now we also have the option to choose from images or videos. As you can see, we also have the capability of creating videos in here. Now, since we want to only create images, let's just choose images here. And for example, maybe we want to have a, a chicken laying eggs. Now from here, you could go ahead and choose the style. Like for example, we have filmic, watercolor, anime, dreamy, and photo. Now in this case, maybe we want to choose anime here. And we also have the capability of choosing the aspect ratio. Now, for example, we want a portrait or a landscape for this one. And from here, we could go ahead and just click on a generate image. Now, in this case, since we are using a free service, there's a limitation on it. So currently, you'll be able to get uh, receive credits on your account. As you can see, I only have 46 credits as of this moment. And every time I try generating an image, it's going to basically reduce the credits on it by one. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on generate image. And from here, it's going to start generating our image. So sometimes it's going to be uh, quite long, but uh, depending on your text on how, or, or how complica complicated your text that you input there, it's uh, going, to be, going to be really long or really short as you can see right now. Now in this case, we have other options or other things that we could do here. Now we could also change the style if you're not contented with the initial results here. We can change this to watercolor, filmic, or photo itself. Oh, we also have dreamy here. Now we also have the option to change the base, uh, the text base uh, that's going to be a uh, data reference for the image itself. But in this case, if you're satisfied with your images, go ahead and click on that specific image. And from here, you should be able to basically add that image as you can see here. Now, if you want to add another image, go ahead and click on the other images here. And from here, it should be added on your presentation again. Now in here, if you click on the image again, you'll be able to add that specific image again in your workspace here. Now, in this case, if you want to look back on all the images that you just recently or previously added into your canvas here, we need to go to the uploads here. And as you can see, these are all the images that we recently or we were able to add on our generations. So I have other chickens here that we could add. As you can see, we were able to multiple or added them again into our projects for better use in the future so this is a great tool if you really want to basically create unique images and be creative about this one but yeah so the, the usage of this tool is straightforward and ai is really cool and that's about it so hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to yellow app thank you for watching